Hey you guys, it is me Laura and this is a video that has been requested for a long time and I should have done it eons ago and I'm so sorry that I have not done it. Um, but we did a big astronomy unit study and it was a lot of fun. Um, near the end of it, the boys were kind of burning out a little bit, um, but for the most part it was really fun. And um, unfortunately, I don't have all the resources together. I wish I could show you. But what I do have, and I will link below, I have the lesson plans. Um, and I do have a few little clips. I have the lesson plans that I used. Um, and I also have a playlist with all the videos in the lesson plans. We used some, um, some what's the word I'm looking for? Some YouTube videos along with it. And basically, for this science... This uh, astronomy unit study, I did it, actually we did it in the winter. I like to do it when the days are shorter because my kids go to bed pretty early and if we do it when the days are shorter, it's easier to actually go pull out our telescope and look at the things that we're talking about in the sky, to look at the stars and see the constellations. So um, we primarily used a couple resources, of course YouTube I talked about, and um, we also used the um, Magic School Bus Astronomy Kit as kind of a big part of the guide of putting this together. The boys love the Magic School Bus kits, so we used, we did um, an experiment from that in every lesson. All right, so here's our Magic School Bus Secrets of Space kit, and it always comes with the guide, which tells you everything that comes in your kit, as well as having all the experience, experiments and stuff. So I am probably going to use this, oh, sorry, <laughs> got a little one climbing on me. Probably gonna use this along with some of the materials that we already have. I will look at the library and I will just pull a bunch of things together, but this is basically going to be kind of my spine to guide it all. So we have this guide and then with it come all of these materials and balls here, <laughs> some clay, um, some tubes, and a little box to put together. And it's got constellation Whoa! map it looks like. Are you seeing this for the first time, Pinky? Yeah, here's the southern hemisphere and the northern hemisphere constellation. And then it's got a really big poster with the planets and some stickers and we will put that up and it looks like there's more stickers. So I'm not exactly sure what everything is for, but that's part of the fun because we get to explore it all together. And we also used the Usborne Astronomy sticker book and I will insert a little clip of that. Here is the Usborne Astronomy and Space Sticker Book, and I was looking on the Usborne website, and I'm not sure that they're still these are still available through Usborne, but I think you can still get them through Barnes & Noble. I'll put a link um, below for it, and even if you don't use this exact sticker book, there's probably lots of space-themed kind of sticker books out there that you could use, but this one was great. We would um, I would give the boys stickers for each page, like I would split the stickers between them and then read about them and they would try and see who had the right sticker for the place and it just gave them something to do while we were reading and learning and it correlated really well with what was in the magic school bus and what we were learning so that was really fun and they didn't quite do all of it so we've still got some more that they can do later and go into more more depth yeah it was just kind of fun to kind of go through this together and Give us something a little interactive to do. When we read, when we were learning about the Hubble telescope, we did this page and about Galileo and telescope. And anyway, it was just it added a lot of fun to our unit. And that was kind of our main spine book, I guess you could say. Going through, I'm looking at it right now, my lesson plans now, so that I remember because it was a little ways ago that we did it. Um, and basically, each lesson we would watch one or two short little videos from YouTube and we would do a page in our astronomy sticker book which both boys really enjoyed and then um, we had a little activity that we did and um, 
A lot of them came from the Evan Moore space theme pocketbook, but there were different ones, and I'll make sure to put more. I'm looking at my lesson plans right now, and there's not a lot of links. I'll make sure to have more links there. And, um, and that was pretty much what we did. There's also some things that are in the lesson plans that we didn't get around to. I always kind of over plan. That way we have options and can kind of pick based on what the kids are interested in that day. But we broke it down into, let's see, how many lessons? 13 lessons. And we also put some stars up in the boys' room. We're going to turn off the light and show you the cool constellations that the boys made using these glowing micro stars. But... You can't see it when the lights are out, but Samuel's going to show you the constellations he made, and Timothy will show you what he made, too. You can see first the mouth, the mouth, and then the whiskers, then all, and then the ears. <laughs> what else do you have up there? We have all kinds of stuff. He made a huge lion. A huge lion? Yeah, and a tiger. Whoa, that's so cool. The tiger did like kids and the lion. So did you boys have fun making constellations? Yeah. Yeah. It's the body I got. That is mostly what we did. I will insert some more clips for you guys, and I will put the link to the lesson plans below, and I will also put a link to the YouTube playlist that I used. Um... And that's pretty much it. I think the boys had a good time. I think astronomy is a little bit difficult for the younger ages just because it's not a science that you can put your hands on and experiment with quite as much. It's a little bit it's a little bit more conceptual. So it was a little bit challenging, but I think overall they enjoyed it and we had fun talking about Mars and looking at we pulled out the telescope so many times and they really really enjoyed that and so it was kind of fun, but I would love to hear, I'm also going to link below their, um, let's see, Crazy Busy Family Life. She just posted an astronomy, um, what they're doing for first grade below, and she used a lot of the same resources I did, so I'm going to link her video below. And I'm also going to link a project that Kenna from Pepper and Pine did, and we were going to do it, which is super cool, but it's a little bit difficult for my boys, but if you have kids that are super artsy it's a great project to do and one more thing I almost forgot um, that I'm also going to link below is um, a while back I wrote uh, a unit study on astronauts so if you wanted to combine astronauts with your study of astronomy um, I will link those lesson plans below as well and um, yeah hopefully and all of that, you can at the very least look through there and find some really good resources to help you in your unit study. So this is not as good as some of my other videos. It's kind of an information dump. But if you're looking for resources for an astronomy unit study or just to study astronomy for science, hopefully this will help you out a little bit. If you have any questions below or any other great resources that you know of, let me know below. Talk to you later. Bye.